Hi there and welcome to the video. So today I'm going to show you how I created the Spider-Man image in the thumbnail that you saw in the thumbnail using Flux AI. Now if you've not used Flux AI before or you don't know how to get it set up, check out my other video um, in the link in the description and also I'll put a card up on the screen. Um, if you watch that first it will show you how to get set up um, easily using the replicate.com method of using Flux which is what I personally use. Um, and that will get you all up to speed. So if you don't know how to get to this point, you don't know anything about this, go and watch that video and then it's really simple and then you can come back here and, and um, carry on and join in with this. So I'm using the dev version of um, Flux at the moment, which is what I use for the majority of things, to be honest, because it's just a great all-rounder. And I'm going to put the cost up on the screen as I work here because go down so at the moment it's three cents per image generated in dev mode um, and I'm going to be working on this I don't know at this stage how many steps it's going to take me to get to where I want so I'm going to be realistic and honest and put up on the screen the equivalent cost that it would have that it will or will cost me because I'm obviously paying for this so just to give you an idea of um, what you could expect to end up paying for a similar workflow so I'm going to set the aspect ratio to 16 by 9 this is just a funny um amusing sort of holding image um, but if you're interested in the prompt for that um, then it's there right there on the screen I'm going to pause it but I'm going to delete that so for this idea I'm going to do 16 by 9 and um, because I want it wide to be suitable for the thumbnail image um, everything else I think I'm going to leave as default for now I am going to put the number of outputs to maybe two so we get two options at a time so obviously that will be six cents then for every um, every time we click run because it's generating two images. But again, I'll tell you that on the screen. So the prompt. Now I've had a little mess around with this earlier, but I haven't I haven't really taken it very far. So it's, I'm going to start with just a really basic basic prompt. So this is what I did earlier. I was messing around. Photo of Spider Man in a pub, um, drinking beer. And I'm just going to run that, click run. For this first time, I mean, it doesn't take very long. I'm generating two images, so it will take a you know a little while. For this first time, I'm, I'm going to just let it run in real time. And then every time I click run after this, I will just cut the video so you're not waiting. Um, you're not waiting to, with a blank screen for the um, results to pop up. <clears throat> so a lot of this is going to be my thought processes of what, what I'm going for and why I'm doing a certain thing. And hopefully we'll get to an end result that we all really like. So these are the original or the initial two results it's brought up. And I've changed the format. So this is worth um, noting. I've changed the output format to PNG. It defaults to WebP. But if you have it on WebP or JPEG, you need to um, adjust the output quality up. Otherwise, you do lose some clarity. If you put it as PNG, you don't have that issue. Obviously, the file sizes are slightly larger, but... So let's click on the first one to just bring it up in the browser window and have a quick look. I mean, that's that's why I saw it. Spider-Man in a pub drinking a beer. Uh, things I don't like straight away, as you can see, fingernails on the suit, which, to be fair, would be very easy to remove using Photop or Photoshop or any other image um, editing software uh it's just well, like the interaction of the of the beer going into his face is a bit weird it kind of is like clipping into his into his face so and it's showing me the potential this is let's have a look at the other one i guess i think the glasses of beer look really good um and the clarity and everything is is excellent on this such a good looking image not really very sensical though in this one because it's nonsensical hands they're not holding the glass. It's just kind of resting on the tip of the fingers. So, again, show me real potential with this, but not quite there yet. If this is all you wanted, you could just run a few more iterations, and I'm sure you'll find one that is close enough. But I want to do something. I just wanted to make it a little bit more interesting. So this is what I got up to earlier when I was just experimenting with an idea. So I'm going to put the drinking beer um, with his pet... I've got a cat, so let's put pet cat with his pet cat. I'm going to click run again. So it's going to generate two images. Okay, so that's finished. Let's have a look at these images. <laughs> that's cool. I like this, but again, we've got some problems, which 
If this was a perfect image, I wouldn't be worried because I could fix these um, in image editing after the fact. But we've got that thing with his fingernails coming in again on top of his suit, which looks a bit creepy. Um, but I've got to say, apart from that, I really love the pose of this and the cat there. So that's interesting. I like it. This one is kind of some strange interaction with his hand and the glass. His hand looks a bit messed up there. That's not a great one. So what I'm going to do here is I kind of I like where this is going, but I want to try and get something else to give it more interest and pop. And I think it's a color thing. I think there's not enough like the reds dominating from his suit and it's kind of dark everywhere. Um, so I want to give something to give it a bit more pop. And what I'm looking at down here is on the bottom image, even though I didn't like this one, there's like a hint of a neon sign in the back that says bar, I think. So I'm thinking that's a good idea. We could have a neon sign. So what should we put this pet cat um, with? Uh, and this is a chance to get more colour. So I'm going to say blue because then it will complement the blue on his suit and it should stand out nicely with a blue neon sign. Um, what should we get it to say? Um, I don't know. Um, real heroes drink beer so I'm just putting this in natural language with a blue neon sign I'll put saying and then just in just in um, speech marks or inverted commas like that just real heroes drink beer or whatever you want to put and let's click run Okay, let's have a look here. So, real heroes drink beer. Real well, it spelled it correctly on both shots, both images. Real heroes drink beer. We're getting a bit of strangeness again going on with the hands. It's like not holding the glass properly. You know, aesthetically, these don't look quite as nice. Um, and this one, he's kind of holding the. You've got a beer there, and there's just just something about this that's not not really doing it for me i love the color of the light i love what that adds to the shot um but the image itself is not really is not really um quite hitting the mark so i'm going to change a setting down here i'm going to try something so on the guidance slider this defaults to 3.5 and what this does is it kind of the higher you go it tries to stick to it gives it more artistic license um, to try and follow what you're asking for with the with the downside of as the more you push it it can look a bit it can look a bit more artificial and a little cartoony sometimes and a bit too colorful and it pushes it away from a more realistic look the more you go but it adheres to your prompt and can give you some more cohesive results whereas if you drop it right down you can get, if you're doing like a photo prompt or something for an actual, you know, a realistic photo, dropping the guidance number down can give you a lot more realistic looking um, like photo, but at the cost of quality of the actual um, coherence of the image and things like that. So in this case, because it's Spider-Man, it's not supposed to be super realistic. So I'm actually going to push this up and just see if that can give us a bit more. So I'm going to push this up to, I don't know, five something like that we can try. And now let's just see if if pushing that guidance number up can give us a little bit um a little bit more of a cohesive image so, you know, things working as they should, uh maybe with just a little boost in um you know, an exaggerated sort of cartoon look to it, maybe some more brighter and vibrant colors, but let's see. Okay, let's have a look. Right, I really like the bottom one already, and I'll so, so the top one is good. Let's have a look. So, real heroes drink beer. You've got the sign up there. Actually, this one's good because the cat's got a beer as well, which is quite nice. Um, Spider Man's got a beer again. We've got the strange fingernail thing going on, but that is a really quick fix in editing software. Um, as he looks a bit good, his, his ears, sorry, looks a bit strange. But apart from that, that's a really nice, um, balanced image, and I, and I quite like that. Bottom one, I just prefer this because we've got, again, the sign spelt correctly, Real Heroes Drink Beer. Really nice composition with how Spider-Man's there. 
sort of almost on the rule of thirds line um, point. Um, and he's holding the beer. You can see the beer glass has got a handle, so he's holding the handle. Everything's nice and um, as it should be. No obvious strange things going on. And the cat is almost just staring at the beer as if he's, like, jealous that he wants one or something. So this is the winner for me so far. So I'm happy with this. I'm going to stop with that image and I'll download it. And then this will be the thumbnail for this tutorial.